Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. And welcome to Kigali. Could the African court be complementary to the ICC, or do you think it should be one or the other? Um, as you may know, in uh, the protocol uh, expanding the jurisdiction of the African court to criminal matters, there is no explicit provision uh, talking about complementarity between the African court and the ICC. For that reason, I would think that the answer to your question would be that it would be one or the other. And that is why I was insisting on the need for the two courts uh, to go into practical arrangements to sort out all problems which can uh, uh, stem from uh, their overlapping jurisdiction. So in, in, in short, really um, there is n no, uh, no way one could say that um, uh, the, the African <coughs> court should be first seized, the forthcoming African court should be first seized before the ICC could handle a matter. Um, uh, that is what uh, I think uh, what we could say in terms of interpretation of the existing provisions. And uh, do you think it is visible to have an African court with criminal ju uh, jurisdiction? Let me say that uh, we think that it is a good idea by itself uh, to have a established an African court uh, vested with uh, criminal jurisdiction. But at the same time, there are uh, many challenges in uh, the implementation of that good idea. Some of the challenges are um, related to the lack of ratification of the Malabo Protocol, which extends the jurisdiction of the African Court to criminal matters. So far, three years after its adoption, this protocol has not been ratified by any member state of the African Union. The other challenge um, uh, comes from um, the uh, financial implications of uh, this extension, because unlike in, in, in African Court of Human Rights, like the one which is in existence now, uh, a, any international criminal court uh, will necessarily require much more uh, resources because apart from the court itself, there is need uh, to have a, an office of the prosecutor, there is a need to have an office for the defense, and uh, all the investigations related to international crimes uh, imply uh, a very high cost. So again, member states of the African Union uh, will need really uh, to, to handle this, uh, uh, this challenge this, that anyone can foresee. Um, the other challenge um, in terms of feasibility, since that was your question, will be the uh, immunity regime uh, which is provided for uh, in, the proto in the Malabo Protocol, and which uh, Malabo Protocol which says that uh, high officials, high sitting officials in member states, including head of states, and other high officials uh, will benefit from immunity before the African court. That also can question um, the efficiency of 
this forthcoming African Court to vest it with criminal jurisdiction.